I'm free, I'm free, I'm free to be me. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free to be me. It's time, it's time, it's time to be free. Good morning. I thought I said good morning, but I guess not. I don't remember saying it. I guess because I've been trying to twist my hair. I put a great big one in the back because, like, I'm tired. This was almost like braiding my hair. I need a professional to do it. I need to teach my granddaughter how to do it. She knows how to braid, just like braid. But I need to teach her how to do my hair. Breakfast! I forgot I had those two sausages. So I put them in my egg. I wanted to put some roasted red pepper in here. But I can't move as fast as I used to. And I had put the, uh... It just takes me too long. Should have cu cut the peppers first. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it would have been good with some mushrooms, red pepper, spinach. I gotta get some spinach. My grocery budget is like this big this month. I had some major big bills last month that just destroyed me. And then I had to run out of town. So my grocery budget is like nil. I was sitting here this morning trying to figure out how am I going to do this. I'm out of tea. Hang on, if I burn up my sauce. And I think I can get through the month on my groceries because I made this soup and the person never picked it up. So I can eat soup. And I have meals. Oh, this is rotisserie chicken. I have meals that I cooked last month that aren't ate. So this is the sixth of the month. I have enough in there to get me through about a half of the month. And if I can get through half of the month, Although I still don't want to use the credit card because Christmas is next month. I'll use the credit card to buy some groceries if I have to. Set my meds right on the counter to take them and I forgot. I forgot to take them. Sometimes that makes me feel like that's a good thing. If I'm forgetting to take my meds, that means my stomach isn't alerting me like, take your meds. So it's a good thing but bad because I don't want it to get messed up either. But I'm going to go look. I just put the red peppers on the side. I'm going to go sit down and eat, and then I have work to do. It is beautiful out today, and I wish that I could get out and walk and just enjoy this. I mean, because my lungs, my lungs need it big time. Like, just getting out the car, walking that small distance, kind of wore me out. So, yeah. Oh, dang. I gotta get to the gym and I keep trying every day but I have so much to do that I can't afford to be sore and laying around and hurting and I know I also can't afford not to anyways I don't know what to do I don't know but I'm glad they were open so that was a donation center and look how short when did I am oh you know what else this <laughs> I found this and cleaning. It's amazing what you have in your home that you don't know that you have until you start downsizing. So I found a car camera phone holder. I'm going to try it. I think the reason why it was packed away is it didn't work very well because it, hang on, it has the suction on it and I think it kept falling. I think that's why I didn't use it, but I'm going to try it again that I took my jacket in the store with me. It's cooling down like really fast. I thought it was supposed to, I checked the weather channel, they're a little off today. Either they're off or my body's off because from 1 to 5 p.m. was a good weather time for me to do my running. It is cooling down really quick like it's gonna storm. If I'd stop panting I could tell you guys a little story. So, um, this month I've got to watch every penny I spend, which is no biggie that I've been living like that for years. So I had $10 today when I came out. I knew I wanted kale and spinach for my juice and I'm out of tea, so I had to pick up tea. So I had $3 and some change left and I definitely needed tissues because I'm out of tissues. I like to have tissues in every room because my nose runs constantly. So I've budgeted myself this month and I have 
$2.60 to live off of every day. And I know I'm sharing too much information. Yeah, I don't think anybody should ever get on YouTube and put their financial information out there, ever. But then there's a part of me that thinks sometimes, that's... How do you help anybody if you're not honest? How do you help people? Wait, okay, there was a little bug crawling up the window. So anyways, though, I was thinking, how do you help anybody? Let me see if I can help this. I don't know if that'll work. But, I was thinking, how do you help anybody if you're not honest? I feel like crap. I want to go home. So what I'm trying to say is I had 10 bucks. I bought my kale. I bought my spinach. And I bought my tea. And that was like $7, I think, and some change. Or was it 6 Maybe. It was like almost 7 or 7 and some change. Now my contact is bothering me. Could I get through this? So I had $3 left. I knew I wanted some hot dog buns. You guys heard me talk about that yesterday. So the Dollar Tree is going to have to be where I shop. Um, so I found these Nature's Own, which is pretty good, um, for a buck at the Dollar Tree. And they'll ask me, because I don't eat a lot of bread anymore. Since I have tissues in the bedroom and in the living room, I bought one box of tissues. This should get me through till next week until I can buy more. And these were not on the list or in the budget. But I have to curb that sugar kick that I'm on. And I gotta stop eating candy. So guys, as you can see I'm back in my pajamas. I don't feel very well. So I'm gonna rest. And then maybe eat some soup and then try to grab a shower. But yeah, I'd love nothing more than to go work out and get these lungs moving. But I don't feel well enough to do it. Just running my errands hard enough. I can't wait until all this is done. Um, that's why I'm donating and throwing out stuff. And I just, I can't be bogged down with things in life anymore. I need to be able to live it. And um, I'm not going to spend it worrying about all the stuff I have and taking care of it and cleaning it. I want to be a minimalist because I want to enjoy life. So there's not a lot we need in life. A place to sit, a place to sleep, a place to eat, a place to cook, and a place to go to the bathroom. We don't need offices. Not really. We can um, <coughs> work off our laps, out of our bed, off of our sofas. We don't need offices. We just think we do. We don't even really need bedrooms. We can use the living room and the bedroom as the same room. I am about to do something I don't do very often. I'm about to make me a bowl of popcorn. Now, I wish I would have bought the banana at Trader Joe's. I was going to buy a banana and then I thought, no, because I never really eat them. But yeah, I'm about to go lay down and watch a movie. There's so much stuff I have to go through. All that stuff over there. Um, a lot of it's paperwork which can be condensed into one big bin and that will reduce all of that and free up some of those smaller ones for me to pack smaller items in. And that brown box I think has crafts in it which needs to go. The craft. As soon as I get rid of this craft stuff I'll have it empty empty apartment. Anyways guys, I'm really not feeling good. Burning in here. I'm a bit, bit, not nauseated, not nauseated per se, but I'm not, like I'm hungry but I'm not. Um, I really want a Target popcorn, but I don't have it in me to make the Target run, and I don't have the money. And like I said, I cannot blow my budget this month at all. I've got $2.50 a day to live off of this month. And that's what I've got to live off of. And if that means I've got to save for four days to get $10 to go buy something, that's what I have to do. But I can't blow the budget. And I know to some of you, 
living on $2.50 a day is a joke because you spend that much in cigarettes. And I get it. But this is my life and this is how I have to live. And I've got to stay within that budget to not hurt myself. So, this is going to be a rough month. That's why I'm about to go lay down and watch movies. No, I'm going to lay down because that'll feel good. Let me get my water. This one's not going to make much sense, this vlog, because I've been all over the place. It hurts trying to talk as short as breath as I am. So this might even be good night. So right now, I'm going to say good night, guys. If I get back up, I get back up. If I don't, good night, guys. <laughs>